Hi guys, Mr. B here. On today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're looking at something called column addition. And that's going to be help us to do these sums here. Okay, around the outside, 35 plus 24, 63 plus 19, 19 plus 21. That look like they're going to be really hard additions to do, but we can make them really easy using column addition. Okay, so we're going to get straight to it. So, you can see we've got a sum here, 24 plus 53. Now, if we were going to count on, it would take us ages and we'd have to take our socks off to get our toes and all sorts. It would take far too long. So what we do is we use column addition, which helps us to get the answer easily just by knowing one digit addition. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Now, we call it column addition because we put the numbers above each other and we put the digits, the numbers, okay, that are in the same place value column above each other. So they're all in one column. So there's my ones and there's my tens. So I've drawn this over the top so you can see first time, but you don't have to when you're doing them. And this is how it works. What I've got here is 24 plus 53. It's important to put your plus here because we can do column subtraction and this reminds us that we're doing the right thing, all right? You know, this is like really forgetful. So that's there good to help me. Don't want to be a numpty. So firstly, what we do is we work a little bit differently. Rather than working from this side over, we work from the ones up to our bigger numbers. So we work from the right and move to our left every time. Now, once you've done this a few times, you'll just get used to it. But when you're first starting out, be careful. Now, what we've got here is we're four and three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add them together. So four, add three, four, five, six, seven. We would have seven ones, okay? And then now we've got two plus five. Now what that actually is, is two tens plus five tens. But all we have to do is our one digits of two plus five and we get our answer, two plus five. I'm gonna start at five and add two on, six, seven. Seven, so my answer is 77, seven tens and seven ones. So you can see how easy it is because now I only have to do one digit addition to work out any addition. And the numbers will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And once we've done these, we'll do some bigger numbers and we'll see how it works. So let's move on and do some more practice. 35 plus 24, if you want to, you could pause the video, have a go at that one, see if you get the same answer. And if you don't want, you can see where you got mixed up on by when I'm working it out, okay? And you can do that with every question. Pause them, have a go at it, and then have a, um, have a look at the answer. So five plus four is nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Use our fingers or a number line, I was there. And three plus two is five. Three, four, five. So the answer to 35 plus 24 is 59. So remember, when you get the sums looking like this, we just have to set them out like this to work out our answer. Okay, and now let's move on to this one because this one is a bit more difficult and you're going to see when I do my ones. Now what might happen sometimes is when you add your numbers together, you get a number bigger than 10. And that can be a problem because we can only put one digit in each column. Always remember that one digit. So I've got three plus nine here. So I'm going to start at nine. I always start my biggest number and I count on the least to stop me making a mistake. So nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I can't do this, I can't put 12 there. I can only put one digit in that box. So what do I do? Well, 12 is actually one 10 and two ones, isn't it? So I've only got two ones, but I've actually got one 10 as well. So I put it in my tens column, ready to add on to the rest of my tens. So you can see if I look like a slanted diagonal, it still looks like the number 12. So I'm not mixing the numbers up. If you had two there and one there, you know you make a mistake because that looks like 21. But I've got my two ones and my one 10. So I put my one there. Now watch what I do. So I've got my six plus one like normal, which is seven, but I've also got another one here. So I have to remember that one as well. So six plus one is seven, plus my other one is an eight. So my answer is 80. Two, okay. What I sometimes like to do is to cross out my one once I've used it. Now it's not too much, you don't have to worry about that too much here because you're only gonna have your ones there. But when you get the bigger numbers, it can help you stop getting mixed up. Okay, so let's try again another one where we're gonna have the number more than 10. So nine plus six, so nine, I'm gonna start my biggest number, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15. How many fives are in 15, ones are in 15? 
five just give you the answer like a numpty and how many tens there's one ten isn't it because 15 is one ten five one so i put my one there okay and i got five plus two five six seven plus my one eight and my answer is 85 brilliant so now we can do it even when the number goes over 10 brilliant now what we're going to look at what happens if our number that's bigger than 10 is in the tens column, not the ones column. Oh, have a go at that one. And then let's have a look at the answer together. So pause it, have a go. So, eight plus one, easy. I don't go over 10, it's nine. Okay, eight, nine, brilliant. Okay, now I've got nine plus two. So nine plus two is 10, 11, 11. So I have 11 tens, okay? So, when I do this one, because when I'm at the end column, and this doesn't matter how big your numbers get, whenever you're in the on, end column, I've got one one and one ten. We just put next to it. Because there's nothing here to add up, we can just put in the next number along, okay? We couldn't before on this one because we had all these numbers to add up. But on this one, when we're right at the end of the sum, we can add it there. And the reason we can do that is 9 plus 10 is 11. Remember, that's 11 tens. And 10 tens are 100. 10 times 10 is 100. If we count in tens 10 times, we would get to 100. So it's 1 10 and 1 100, isn't it? So it's 119. Brilliant. So now we can do those ones. Superb. Okay. Now, lastly, and again, if there's ones where way, oh, I'm not sure about that one, easiest way to go. Pick two numbers where you know these two numbers are going to be over 10. Okay. Have a go at doing it and check on a calculator. Best way to practice. And now we have 89 plus 32. This one, both numbers are going to cross 10. They're going to be bigger than 10. So let's have a look what we're going to do. So we're going to do 9 plus 2. 9, 10, 11. 11 is 1, 1. Okay. And 1, 10, isn't it? So I'll put my little one there. Some people say on the doorstep, on the bus stop. However you want to do it. There's my one on the little doorstep there. Up in the tens column. Now I've got 8 plus 3. 8. 9, 10, 11. Plus my 1, 12. And then I go into the next column, because I've got 12 tens, which is 102 tens, and I've got 121. Brilliant. So now, any two digit numbers addition, I can do just by knowing single digit addition. That's absolutely brilliant. And I'm just going to show you something. If I change this number, I'm going to change that number there. Keep the first numbers the same, so 8, 9 plus 2 is 11. But if I had, where's my black one? If I had a 1 there, 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. If it's 10, don't worry about it. That's 1, 10, and no zeros. You can still put a zero. Don't be afraid of putting zeros into your answer. Now we know how to do that, you can add two dig numbers, no matter what size they are. Here, if you've got millions and billions and whatever they are, because we do this exactly the same thing for any number, no matter how big they are. So let's do some bigger numbers. Let's go away from just two digit numbers and we're going to use what we've learned and do exactly the same thing. We still need to know, know our single digit addition. Once we do that, we can do any number. So let's have a look. What I mean is, if I have, let's say, two three digit numbers let's pick four five two and let's pick we'll make it an easy one we'll not add any extra on at the minute so let's pick three one one so 452 plus 311 now this line as well is important some people miss that out when they're doing it that tells us that this is what we're having together and this is our answer so rather than three numbers on there so let's have a look two bigger numbers now we're adding hundreds but we're going to do the same thing look now it's like we've got our ones column like we did before our tens like we did before but now we have a hundreds column as well okay but we're still going to do exactly the same thing two plus one is three 5 plus 1 is 6, and 4 plus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 7. How easy was that? Didn't have to do anything extra, but 
but I've still got my answer. Didn't have to learn how to do anything else. I just had to put the numbers in my column addition. And if we do have to go over 10, we have to cross 10. Let's have uh, four, nine, eight, plus three, two, one. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, let's have a look. Eight plus one, oh, I've got my little addition sign to make sure I'm not being an update. Eight plus one is nine. Brilliant. Nine plus two, we're gonna go over 10 here, aren't we? Nine, 10, 11. And I do my same, my one 10 there and my one goes there. Okay, so that's why it's important to put it in the right column because now we've got two possibilities where it could go on. Okay, now four plus three, four, five, six, seven, plus my extra one, eight. Eight, one, nine. Brilliant, okay? So again, using exactly what we know to work out those. Now, even if we have to cross 10 twice, we can still do it now, okay? And this is where crossing your ones out is gonna help you. It looks exactly like this. Let's do five, nine, nine, add 122, okay? So when we're doing this one again, pause the video if you want to have a go first. Nine plus two, nine, 10, 11. So I'll put my one there and my one there, make sure it's my tens column, okay? Now I've got nine plus two again, which is already knows 11, but I've got my extra one, haven't I? Never forget to add these extra ones. That's where people can make mistakes, okay? So nine plus two is 11, plus my one is 12. So now I have two tens, and one there. And I'm gonna cross that one out because I know I've used that one. That helps me keep track of what I'm doing. Now I've got five plus one, which is six, plus my one, extra one that I've carried over, um, is seven. Seven, two, one. So even if we have to do it twice, we can still do it. Okay, and we're gonna do, let's do a couple of more sums just to get it in our head. Okay, if we had four, um, let's do, do, do seven, zero, and um, let's go for nine plus, okay, five, um, three, Five. Okay, it looks like a hard sum there, but let's work it out. Let's use the same thing that we are doing. Nine plus five, remember we're always working from this side. Nine plus five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So one goes into my tens column and four in my ones column. Now I've got zero add three. Zero add three is three, isn't it? Any add any number on the zero, I'm gonna have it. But remember I've got my extra one, so three add one, is four, so zero add three is three, and my one is four, cross that out. Seven plus five, I'm gonna start at seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And because we're at the end, we do exactly the same as the two digit numbers. We know it's 12, so we put the, we write the 12 because we've got nothing to add here, so we can just put it in the box next to it. So it will be 1,244, okay, brilliant. Now. One last thing before we finish the video is if we're doing two digits that are the same amount of numbers, that is fine, okay? Normally works out okay. But what we need to do is we need to obviously make sure we are getting every digit in the last, in the right uh, box. Because if I was doing a three digit and a two digit number, let's say I was doing 311 add, um, 94, okay. Can you see I've left a gap here? Because there's my ones column, there's my tens column, and there's my hundreds, okay? Now that's important because if I'd set my sum out like this, let's have a look at the difference, okay? So let's put in there our 311 again at the top, but this time we've just put the 94 that way, okay? 
So let's look at the real answer first. 1 plus 4 is 5. 1 plus 9 is 10. So put my 1 there and my 0 there. Um, and then 3 plus 1 is 4. So my real answer is 4 or 5. And if I look at that, 311 at about 100, it's looking at about 400. We're good. But if I do this one, I'm going to do 1 add nothing is 1. 1 add 4 is 5. 3 add 9, I'm going to say is 9, 10, 11, 12. And I would get that as my answer, 1,251, which is wrong. So we need to make sure that we are putting the digits in the right columns, okay? So we always start from the left. So if I had this sum, uh, 423 add 74, okay? I need to make sure I'm writing my 423, okay? And then 74 goes there. Okay, so we start from the right. Okay, so we should always have a gap on this side. Okay, never on that side. Okay, and don't just fill it with a zero, it will work. And that's the only thing you need to do. Have a practice of those because once you have done that and you've done up the three digits, you, like I said, you can literally do any numbers added together because you've got the skills and you're smart enough to be able to do it. So brilliant work today in the video. Hope you enjoyed it and good luck with all your column addition sums. That's this video done. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you do need any more help, you can pop them down in the comments. I'll try and answer if I can. And remember to subscribe so you'll always see when I put new uh, videos up. Please give the video a like if it did help you. Um, and uh, you can find me at uh, Mr. Biggins123 on my Facebook and my Instagram and my Twitter if you want to uh, see, ask me any other questions or need any other help on any other things. Until next time, see you later.